Lauderdale, 38 were forced to close. The total for Yorkshire was 124, but uh, for the region's high school, well, it was lessons as normal. Our reporter Spencer Stokes joins us now from Queensbury. Spencer, a place that very often suffers when it snows like this. Yes, it does, Nicola. The snow came down heavily last night, continued through this morning, turned into a really nasty, wet, sleety mix this afternoon. But in the last few minutes, it's turning back to snow again. So in some places around Queensbury, there's about six inches. It's blowing in from the valley behind me. Bradford's down over there, sleeting down in Bradford, but snow starting to fall again here. Now, in spite of all those weather conditions, the local primary school here in Queensbury, Fox Hill, managed to stay open and that's something that the school has gained a reputation for leaving its doors open letting pupils come in even when the weather is like it has been today i've spent the day at the school finding out how they do it build a snowman and then go back inside and write about it it's a lesson repeated year after year at fox hill primary the bradford school that seems to open whatever the weather Across West Yorkshire, over 100 primaries and secondaries were shut today. So why did Fox Hill stay open? Well, why wouldn't we? You know, it's safe to open the school, the main road's running. At the moment, it's safe to have the children here and the staff are here, so we're open. Even though it's exposed to the elements, Fox Hill isn't isolated. Getting here is easier than it is at other schools. At 1,200 feet above sea level, Fox Hill Primary School catches all the bad weather. When it's drizzling in Bradford city centre, it's blizzarding up here. But it manages to stay open because it's also on a busy road that the council keeps clear. And that means pupils and staff can get in on days like this. In total, 34 out of 35 staff made it in and 100 out of 239 pupils. So a challenging school run for some parents. It's just the way it is up here. It's like this in summer. So you just crack on and get on with it. The teachers can make like a different way, should we? That's why Leila's come today. I think it's good for children to know that no matter what the weather throws at you, you know, you can still achieve. Fox Hill always manages to stay open if it's snowing. Um, so if you live close enough, obviously you can get here. Um, but if you live too far away, it can be a bit risky. And for those elsewhere who did get a day off today, there was a chance to do some open air learning. This field in Oxenhope, providing an ideal opportunity to practice and perfect springtime sledging. Yes, when the weather is like this, head teachers face some difficult decisions. Can pupils get in safely? Can teachers get in safely? Will there be enough teachers in school to look after all the pupils? And of course, what happens if the weather turns out to be worse than has been predicted? All those decisions being looked at, being made by teachers across West Yorkshire this morning. And that's why we have more than 100 school closures. closures. So what's the weather, what's the snow being like elsewhere in the county? Danny Carpenter has been finding out. It's Christmas card pretty, but we had to wait until March to get it. A heavy snowfall in a sweeping belt across the Pennines. It made for a miserable commute for many, but no serious problems were reported. Instead, for a lot of people, a chance for some fun. It was fantastic. We were all hoping yesterday, looking at the weather forecast, like, please snow heavy. And yeah, we got it. We just looked on the school website this morning. The girls were ready dressed to go to school. And then I announced that there's no school and the house was filled with screams. <laughs> Your brothers are at school? Yeah. The school's just around there. And what did they say to you about that? They're the right group. There were some minor problems on minor roads, making the train a more attractive option. Less appealing on a day like this, a pie and a pint in the beer garden. But for some, the fleece is what keeps you warm outside. We always get uh, a lot of weather up in the Pennines as it is, so it's the perfect place to live and uh, send weather photos in to Paul the weatherman. <laughs> By mid-afternoon, the heavy snow that fell through the night and much of the morning had turned to rain. By tomorrow morning, all of this will be washed away. Perhaps the last of the proper winter weather. So you can't blame people for wanting to make the most of it. 
Any further snow this winter is not likely to be so heavy or so widespread, so it could be some time before we'll be seeing the sledges again. Danny Carpenter, BBC Look North. That snowman we saw in the school playground here in Queensbury is still standing there. I think he might get a little bit bigger overnight. This big Queensbury, he could be there for a few days yet. We've had the warmest winter on record and then we get into March and the snow hits West Yorkshire. Although the situation should improve over the next few days. And of course, whatever the weather, this school plans to be open next week. Thanks there to Scott of the Antarctic. I know, the wind is vicious, mm. isn't it? Poor old Spencer's been there all day. Mm. Later on, look north.